like just a year ago we were out here doing the same thing. Except it was only like 10 months ago, but still. It's December 14th, 15th, something like that. I don't even remember. I lose track of my days. It's windy. It's cold. It's supposed to be a high of 35, and I think it's only like 31 right now. I don't even know what the water temperature is. It's not reading on my fish finder, but we're gonna shoot across. The, we're gonna shoot across Prescott Bay. We're gonna go try to catch some crappies. It wasn't that rough this morning, and it's getting a little rough now. My ears are already numb. Didn't bring a knit hat. But I'm probably not gonna film on the way over there just because I'm gonna try to get over there get anchored up but yeah let's go try to catch some crappies all right so uh, the technique I'm gonna be using today I'm gonna be using a slip fork for these crappies so uh, I know anybody's never used a slip fork before it's just got there's a little rubber stop and this bobber freely slides up and down the line and when it gets to that stopper the bobber stops so you can adjust that to your desired depth basically on the fly um, I got a couple of split shots on here and I got a VMC jig um, as far as bait wise today I'm going to be using plastics I did bring some grubs with me if these fish decide to get a little finicky and don't want to eat um, but for the majority of it we're going to be using plastics um, we're going to be using french creek fishing company plastics uh, local guy here in erie great guy great product i mean these are just some of them i don't even know what color to use all i heard was that there was crappies nobody really said a color so we'll go through a little variety assortment and uh see i think i got some of my jackets still from the other day we're set up in about seven foot of water right now. I grow. Try this one first. There you go. Guys, check them out. He's got baits for everything. He's got baits for bass, you know, panfish. He's got some six inch baits you could be using for musky or pike. Get our jacket zipped back up so we don't lose too much body heat. Cause it is cold. I'm not a duck hunter. I didn't realize there would be this many duck blinds over here. Luckily, I don't see any decoys out. So I, and I don't see any vehicles next to the road, so I don't think anybody's here. But if you are, sorry. little VMCs they got a little plastic keeper on the back so they don't bite your plastic off there you go we're putting that under slip cork like I said we're about eight foot of water seven foot of water we're gonna move around I think I'm gonna put this probably uh, I don't know we'll probably we'll start with like I don't know four or five foot because we got we got some weeds down there but I don't know I didn't get any word if these crappies were in the weeds or if they were on top of the weeds or if they were where there's no weeds. All I know is I heard seven foot of water and crappies find them. It's like, all right, go. Get you guys on my chest and we'll get rolling here. slip down a little bit so it's full of weeds in here like just chock full of weeds and the eight foot of water they're two foot under the surface so i just rolled up to this spot here and they're about the weeds are only probably two foot tall so i don't know if maybe these crappies would be holding here you guys probably can't see it but there's tons of weeds
first steps finding them. Once we find them, then we'll be all right. Sun's coming out, heating up this black suit. I'm wearing my uh, striker ice, ice fishing suit today. It's so cold out. All right, so I've been out here for like two and a half hours, haven't caught a fish yet. Switching baits, switching spots. I was literally just about to leave this spot, I swear. And I started reeling, thought I was stuck on a log. A little crappy. French Creek Fishing Company plastic. Too small for me to keep, but that gives me a little bit of hope that uh, I'm in the right spot. I've just been, I don't know, couldn't find them or what my issue was. I think maybe I was fishing a little too deep. So I'm running a slip bobber, so and I started reeling. And he hit it when I was reeling. It makes me think I'm fishing too deep. It's about seven foot of water. Move it down three foot or so. And you know where there's one crappy, there's more. Crappy thing is, this is no pun intended. I don't know just where I cast it. I just cannot. Sorry for the wind. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Oh, lost him. That was a good one, too. That was a big one. That was a big one. I know where they're at now. I've worked this whole bank all the way down to this point. Oh my goodness! Lost that one too. All right, we got another one. Oh, he got off. Dang. I think I finally figured something out. Turn about three and a half foot on a slip bobber. You guys seen that pink plastic on there? On a silver jig head. I was casting way up here, which is where I caught that first one. And I just been kind of jigging it and just letting it float. And I've had two bites right here. a better one. Here we go. Probably a nice nine inch crappie. Not too bad. I'm going 
throw this one in the box. Take it. You don't even have to really jig it very hard. I'm probably running four foot under my float. Three and a half, four foot or so. I think it's probably an eighth ounce jig head. Something a little heavier so it doesn't take forever to sink down. But those fish moved. Your perspective. Those fish moved from over here, over here in a matter of, I don't know, a minute. So they're, they're definitely not sitting still. You gotta keep casting around and stay on them. That would be why I'm not uh, catching fish. Literally, the hook point on my plastic or on my jig head snapped off. How does that even happen? this one marinate. I'm going to get this jig head switched out and get back to you guys. almost probably 10 inches switched up to jig head color to pink still got that pink worm on there we go cool Let's see if we can get another one
was really tiny. I mean, these ones are good. Look at that. Got them in the sun. Awesome. Something a little different than steelhead fishing. Cool. Pop it out. Box. Let's get another one. Sucks that it took me two hours to find these fish, two and a half hours to find these fish, but I didn't even stop the GoPro, that was fish in a minute. I think that's going to be a wrap for me. Appreciate everybody watching. Only caught a handful of fish, not too many. But it's the way it goes sometimes. Can't catch them all. Lost one of my eyeballs. So, until next time, tight lines. That spray is cold.